Hey guys, today we are in the Shawnee National Forest. And so I need an all day slow cooker recipe while we go on a hike. So I've thrown together our creamy Italian chicken. So stick around if you wanna see how easy it is to throw together all while having a whole lot of fun. Take number 532 of Mikey pretending like he's fallen off a cliff. Not funny. Hey Crack Posse, welcome to my camper kitchen. We are getting ready to go out on a hike, but before we do, I wanna put on a dish that will cook the entire day. I'm sorry, I don't have double cameras up. Mikey has left to go find Wi-Fi to upload the weekly chat and is having a really hard time. And in other news and having a really hard time, the horse that's right over there is very unhappy that his friends left and he wants them to come back, or she. I'm sorry, it's a she. She wants her friends to come back, and I'm sure they'll be back real soon, but she's very noisy about the process. So, um, so if you hear a horse in the background, that's what's going on. But um, that's all a part of what this is. Give me just a second. I have to find... Pass me those scissors. Anyhow, so we're going to put on a really quick dish. Um, an Italian chicken dish that's going to use some of the leftovers that we have from other things. Pardon the mess that is everything. We have been full on camping here in the Shawnee National Forest and I'm sure Mikey will show you as a part of this video um, where all we hike today and all the fun that we have today. So we've been here approximately 10 minutes and we just now figured out where the trail started. We saw this Actually, turn around over there. This might be an adventure. But I want to have um, our slow cooker meal going so that when we come home, we're going to have a creamy Italian chicken. Um, the creamy part doesn't happen until we get back. So first, I've got um, <laughs> three pounds of um, chicken thighs that I have been thawing in my little... Um, I'm going to start calling this the kernel, my kernel, my bucket for my chicken to thaw. Um, so I have been thawing this chicken. I'm going to throw it in my seven quart slow cooker. Now, it's a seven quart, my seven quart Cuisinart, which Mikey has dubbed Queasy. Um, but anyhow, um, let me put that right there. Yes. So I'm going to go on and put this chicken in here. You could do this very easily in a six quart slow cooker. So threw my chicken breast in there um, if you've been keeping up with our adventures you will know that um, my mom and dad are horse camping that's why we're at a horse camp even though we don't have horses um, and so we are cooking and testing out our camper kitchen for our big adventure that we have coming up so we're making what will be dinner for them um, so they've decided to be our taste testers for all these yummy dishes that we're doing on the go. But this is going to cook all day for us. Um, as soon as Mikey gets back, we're going to go on a pretty much day-long adventure. Sometimes it pays to go the path less traveled. We're here by ourselves. Thank you, Robert Frost.
and so we need something that's going to cook all day for us. So this is three pounds of chicken thighs. Then I made a very yummy um, egg casserole this morning that used some artichokes and some red pepper, a roasted red pepper. So I'm using the other half of those jars. So this is about half a cup of chopped artichoke hearts, half a cup of um, chopped roasted red peppers, and then I grabbed about a fourth of a cup of black olives and I just sliced them up. So I'm just going to sprinkle them evenly over the top. Oh, and I'm making a mess. I'm sure Mikey will clean that up later for me, right? Okay, so I've got my olives, my um, roasted red peppers, and my artichokes in here. Now, if you're not a big fan of artichokes, you can kind of leave that out. This, honestly, you can toss in what you want or what you don't want. You could put chopped onion in if you wanted. Um, now I'm going to add two cups of marinara sauce and so you can use any kind that's your favorite as you know we are um, eating low carb so we really like this um, Rayo's homemade tomato basil sauce because it is really low carb just try and pick some kind of marinara sauce that has a really good flavor that you really enjoy because this is kind of chunky and it's got um, lots of yummy like it's a really flavorful sauce so we really like that so now I'm just going to turn this on low for seven hours and I'm using chicken thighs so that it can withstand the cooking of about seven hours um, chicken breast I don't like to cook that long I just find that they get over dry um, here let me put a little salt on this I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper and then just let it cook for cook for me for today I love these kind of almost dump and go recipes so that we can um, just leave things going and come home to yumminess so there we go, it is ready to go. And so in eight hours, I should probably do the snappy thing. But I'm guessing that Mike is probably gonna show you guys some um, footage from today. So I'm gonna snap and then we'll come back. One, two, three. We've been hiking so long, they've gone stir crazy up there. So we're back from our hike um, to Indian Kitchen. And it's been about five hours, according to my slow cooker, which I was cooking on low. And like we always say, sometimes things cook faster. So um, my chicken thighs are definitely already tender which is good because we are very, very hungry. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put, uh, I've, I, I cheated and I added some mushrooms when I got back because we really like mushrooms and we were out of mushrooms. And so um, I went and bought some mushrooms and I threw those in there. So they've been heating up. Um, since we're using a seven quart, that's probably why ours cooked a little bit faster. Um, but now I'm going to add a brick of cream cheese to make our chicken creamy. So this won't take very long at all to melt up. So I'm going to let this melt. I could probably even turn it on high um, to get it to melt faster. But then I'm going to just top this with mozzarella cheese. You could serve it over pasta or we're just going to eat it like it is. Or you could eat, um, serve it over um, zucchini noodles, zoodles, which I don't have my zoodler with me. So 
we're just gonna eat it like this but it looks so yummy and it smells amazing too this so. camper smells really good right now yes 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 so we're gonna let that happen so i'm gonna put the lid on while i go grab a bowl so just put this out in and grab my cheese if i can find it but we had an amazing hike correct oh i loved it so we went and saw a cliff called indian kitchen here um i would say it may be one of the lesser known kind of like there wasn't a pamphlet on it we knew about it because a lot of the horseback riders like to go to it and so we knew to look for it and so we found it and then we found the trailhead and we walked about 45 minutes back there and then got to walk down into the um, area near the water. And I guess the story goes that the um, Native American men would uh, be at the top of the cliff, which hopefully Mikey will be showing you <laughs> what this looks like because it's hard to get all in one shot. But they would be standing at the top of the cliff and they would run buffalo over the cliff to where they would fall and then the um, Native American women would then have the water and I guess the area down there so that they could um, prepare the meat for their tribe. The meat, the hides and everything. Yeah. So because that's, uh, there was like a, is that a spring? What is that? Oh, that's a creek that runs through there. Yeah. That's the Lust Creek. Lust oh, Creek. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So it was kind of like a, they were using all different parts of the um, landscape to mm -hmm. to process. And use all different families. parts of the buffalo. Yeah. yeah. So we got to see that and then we took a hike back. It was a really pretty nice time and now we're hungry. Mm -hmm. So let me get a bowl. Oh my goodness, I just realized I get to actually taste it before you do. Well, you don't have to. You could. Oh, no. So, my cream cheese is still melting. If you're particular about that, you could, like, crank this up on high and it melt faster. But we're going to just do a little taste test right now. You know, for the sake of science. Well, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't get all the other little yummy things. They're floating away from me. Okay, so we have the chicken. We're going to put a little bit of our fresh mozzarella that I shredded. There we go. The lighting is probably terrible in here and I'm sorry. All right, you ready? Oh, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> I can't cut the bite. There we go. Creamy Italian chicken. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It looks like it's good. <laughs> it is really yummy. So, this has been a Cooking Chris's Dishes from my camper kitchen in the Shawnee National Forest. Um, if you like this video and you like traveling along with us and seeing what we're cooking while we're traveling, give this a thumbs up. Um, and um, if you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, please subscribe so you can become a, a member of our fun Crock Potting family. Um, you can also check us out over on Patreon at um, patreon.com backslash recipes that crock. So I believe the way Mikey puts this is if you keep watching, we'll keep cooking and all will be well. <laughs> Bye guys. I think the horse is going to make noise the whole time. And now my head is cut off. Yay me. My head is still cut off. Hmm. Um, but if you do, if just try and pick some kind of, I swear. <laughs> what are you doing? I was recording. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Come here. I got it.
our creamy Italian chicken. Now, aren't you glad that we live in modern times where we get our chicken from the store and we didn't have to run them off the side of a cliff like those guys did with the Oh, buffalo? I know! That and chickens can fly. <laughs> I don't think that would have worked out. <laughs> <laughs>